Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I am out and about doing bird photography this morning. The last several times I've done bird photography have been at home on the back porch in the blind and man that's a lot of fun and I think uh, a lot easier once you get the blind set up and you've got perches and feeding stations and the birds will come to you and you can just kind of sit there and wait and they'll and they'll land and you and you've set your blind up in such a way that the light's going to be shining on the birds just right uh, so that's a lot easier and I think you can get a lot better quality photos that way but I I still miss doing it this way where I just kind of drive around in the car at uh, various parks near my house and kind of see what I can find and so that's what I'm going to do this morning it's the first time I've done it in a while I haven't done this since since before Heather and I went to Florida in mid-January and now it's probably uh, I think today is March 9th I believe is what t today is so it's been a while since I've done it this way and I'm uh, I'm excited about it and I also have a little bit of trepidation because it's a lot more difficult than what I've been doing the the bird photography in Florida is much easier even though we did it this way riding around in the car if you're at uh, if you're on the Black Point Wildlife Drive it's a lot easier than this but uh, anyway I'm excited let's get going just over there is an area where in the summertime when the Chickamauga Lake level is up there's water all the way back into where those cypress trees are but this time of year the water's down but spring is starting to spring a little bit and there's some fresh baby grass over there in and around those cypress trees and there's a deer over there feeding on that grass and I made a shot of it from quite some distance with the 100 to 500 on the R7, hopefully of the deer with a cypress tree in the background. Here is that photo of the white-tailed deer standing in an area where water will be in a month or two with some beautiful cypress trees in the background and enjoying the grass. I'm inside the park now. I was at a little day use area outside the park, but I'm in the park now. I just got an extremely backlit photograph of a red-winged blackbird, which uh, a dark bird backlit is a tough exposure. I uh, intentionally blew the sky completely out so I could get at least a little bit of uh, detail in the bird besides just a silhouette. And now the incredibly backlit red-winged blackbird photo. There was actually a lot more branches and things on the left side of the frame, but I cloned them out. And I think the red-winged blackbird high-key photo turned out okay. There goes some Canada geese and there was a male um, house finch on the railing at the fishing pier that I thought was pretty. Here is the male house finch photograph. Really love the way this one turned out. It's kind of a minimalist shot with a uh, rule of thirds and some lines and just all sorts of photography techniques. I think it turned out nice. I have really gotten spoiled hanging out in the blind that Heather and I made on the back porch. It's so much easier there. The birds, uh, while the diversity is not as much, they get so much closer. But uh, I did just run across a red-bellied woodpecker. This is a male red-bellied woodpecker, and what a beautiful example it is. I wish the branch wasn't blocking most of the bird, but that's just the way the shot turned out. But still a beautiful bird nonetheless. And this next one's kind of fun. It's a Carolina wren who apparently wants to grill out on the barbie, but uh, better him than me. I don't think I'd want to eat anything off that rusty grill. Beautiful bird at Harrison Bay State Park. I just made what is probably the best photo of the day so far. Um, I was driving down near the marina and I saw a blue jay in this tree over here on the right and I, I just stopped and I didn't see it for a long time and I rolled down the passenger side window and it flew up into one of the branches in the lower part of the tree and I was able to get a fairly decent shot I think. This is my vantage point for the Blue Jay shot, sitting in the driver's side of the car and shooting out the passenger side window. And look at the beautiful colors of the Blue Jay. It's interesting to me how the colors are subtle towards its head and become brighter and brighter the further down the body and towards the tail. Beautiful bird, the Blue Jay. I've come around the corner from the marina now and I'm near the parking lot where the people park their boat trailers while they're out on the lake. And there's been quite a bit of tufted titmouse activity just out the window over here, but um, most of it has not been in an area that I could get a picture, but I think I may have gotten one. 
I'm really happy with this tufted titmouse shot as well, even though the foliage was kind of thick. I love the head angle, which is key a lot of times in bird photography, and the tuft is up and it's got a sparkle in its eye. Just turned out nice. I drove further around this parking lot, and over there in the other corner, I stopped for a little while and listened for birds, and, and I heard some woodpeckers, and I, I heard one drumming high up in a tree a long way away and through pretty thick foliage, and I made a shot of it, and I think it's a hairy woodpecker. Terrible picture of a hairy woodpecker, but if it is a hairy woodpecker, it's either my very first hairy woodpecker or my first hairy woodpecker that I didn't misidentify as a downy woodpecker. <laughs> I'm about 99% certain that this is in fact a male hairy woodpecker, which looks quite a bit like a downy woodpecker. And even though it's very cropped and still small in the frame, I do like the way the photo turned out. And look at this, as I drove around a little bit more at Harrison Bay State Park, I ran across these three beautiful deer and they were kind of nuzzling and eating and I thought the shot turned out just absolutely beautiful, but I couldn't stop and make a video clip because I was in traffic. I've come back out of the park now and I'm back at the place where I was when I first started this morning, sitting in the car looking out at this little slough off of the lake uh, at the log that was poking up. I took a picture of it. I don't know if it's in the video. Um, maybe you have seen it or maybe it wasn't good enough to share. But anyway, uh, I was looking at that same log and a ring-billed gull came up and landed on it. And birds, when they're putting on the brakes to land, are, are really interesting looking. And I made a shot of that. My, my shutter speed was only 1 640th, so there's probably a little bit of motion blur in it. But uh, hopefully one of those, one of that little burst of shots of it landing is worth looking at. Here's the ring-billed gull photograph. And this ring-billed variety is the type that you see more than any other in my area. That may not be the case for the rest of the country, but here in Tennessee, ring-billed gulls are the most common. I'm stopped here now in that same day use area, and I really wish I had brought my 800 millimeter lens because there's a couple of loons way out, almost all the way across, uh, and they've been diving and, and doing their thing. And I made a few photographs of them, but they are extremely tiny in the frame. I'm not sure if any are worth even sharing, but if they are, I'll show them to you in a minute. And also there's some other gulls. You know, normally we see ring-billed gulls around here all the time. And I did get a photograph of one of those earlier, but there's some other gulls flying around that I'm not really sure what species they are. I'll try to identify them later. But uh, they've been flying around and doing some fishing and I've made some photographs of them as well here. Here is the closest I could get to the common loon in non-breeding plumage. And this photograph is still cropped quite a bit. But it was cool to get a photograph of a common loon. I'd love to get one in breeding plumage someday. And I'm pretty sure this gull is a Bonaparte's gull, which is also in non-breeding plumage, but just beautiful. And I happened to catch it with the sky reflecting off the water. So that made that beautiful as well. Well, some people pulled up and got out of the car and started fishing just right down from me. So that's going to mess up any chance of, of the seagulls or the loons coming closer to me so I'm going to call it a morning go home and work on these pictures and put a video together for you I appreciate you tuning in if you like the content a thumbs up is always appreciated and as always I'd love to see you in the next one bye bye from Harrison Bay State Park